Hey guys, and welcome to the guide. So, from my last understanding video, the understanding of the F-35 Lightning II, I collected like a crazy troll, like local in the Cabezo kind of a troll. So I think I'm onto something with this series, so I'm just going to run with it. So this episode is understanding the SU-57. used to be called the T-50 PACFA, but now Russia has officially designated it the SU-57. And I mean... How can you miss this plane? Honestly, how can you miss it? It's the only worthy adversary for the F-22 Raptor at this point in time. It's the only plane that can go up in a dogfight against the F-22 Raptor and, like, have a chance. So, how can you miss this plane? Now, due to the Russian propaganda, it it's, might have been way overblown, kind of like the F-35 is way overblown by American propaganda. But, it's still exciting to see a plane that could actually go up against the F-22 Raptor and stand a chance. So, does the Su-57, formerly known as the T-50 PACFA, live up to the Russian hype? Does it live up to the Russian propaganda that makes it sound awesome? And I'm, I'm, I'm on the fence about it. I'm really not sure quite yet. I, I want to love the plane. I want to believe that it's as awesome as Russia is saying it is. But... There's some systems in it that I just can't quite believe are working and up to running quite yet. And, and like, for example, the IR missile tracking system, their infrared missile tracking system, where they have two pods, one on top of the plane, one on bottom of the plane. And supposedly this thing can track incoming infrared missiles, missiles that lock onto heat sources like an, a jet engine that's shooting out a big fireball behind it. It's those sort of missiles. It tracks those sort of missiles and supposedly it can track them and then it can shoot a laser beam back into the missile's guiding system that will cause the missile to veer off and miss the aircraft completely. Now, how they can make this work, I have no idea. I have no idea how they can calculate speed of the missile, what direction of the missile, and then speed of the aircraft, direction of the aircraft, and then get a laser beam into the missile sensing system so to cause it to veer off and miss the aircraft. Like, how they can get that to work, I have no idea. Even if they can get that to work 50% of the time, that is awesome. I, But at, that's one of those systems I'm just on the fence about. I'm like, I don't know how you guys can make that work. But if you can make it work, more power to you. Um, but as far as, like... The design of the Su-57, it's designed as an old-school dogfighter where they're anticipating there will still be close dogfights where everything will be happening within five miles of each other. There won't be any super long missile shots, you know, like 100-mile missile shots going on. That's what the Russians are anticipating it about. They prioritized, with the development of the Su-57, maneuverability over stealth. While we in America, we prioritize stealth over maneuverability, hence the F-35. The F-35 is insanely stealthy, not very maneuverable. It's capable maneuverable, but it's not very maneuverable, which is what I got into an argument on the last video with the dude, but whatever. So, it's just a different mindset, a different philosophy. I mean, the only thing that can match the Su-57 in the skies is the F-22. If the Su-57 goes up against the F-35, the F-35 is in trouble. They're in a big trouble. So, the only thing that can match the Su-57 in the skies is the F-22, which that would be better than pay-per-view. I would pay to watch that dogfight. I really would. I, I, I don't really do pay-per-view UFC fights, but I would do pay-per-view SU-57 versus F-22 fight I, any day. It would, I would be on that like you have no idea. With that in mind, who would win in a dogfight between the F-22 Raptor and the SU-57? And of course, the cop-out answer is, well, the better pilot would win. that That's the cop-out answer, right? The, the answer where they don't really want to tell you or they're afraid you won't like the answer that you have, so they cop-out and say, whoever's the better pilot will win. So, but that, you know, that's a cop-out answer. We don't want no cop-out answer. Both pilots are equal, and it's just a match of the machines, which one would win. 
And, well, first off, they're going to stumble into each other. They're both stealth fighters, so they're really not going to know that each other's in the air until they're just stumbling into each other. And with even then, the F-22 will probably get a radar signature from the Su-57 faster because the Su-57 is less stealthy than the F-22. But the Su-57 is going to see the F-22 pretty fast after that anyway, so it's not going to make that big of a difference. It's going to end up being a gunfight because missiles won't really work on them they're stealthy missiles aren't going to be very useful with that and even with an IR missile they can just pump some flares to dodge them so missiles aren't going to be very good so it's going to end up being a dogfight between the F-22 and the SU-57 a good old-fashioned gunfight dogfight and by then it, it comes down to which one's more maneuverable and which one carries its mass better and in my mind this is my mind I'm going to give the edge slightly, very, very slightly to the SU-57. I know that's going to piss off a lot of American fanboys, but it's a very slight edge. I mean very slight. And that's because the SU-57's thrust vectoring system is omnidirectional. It can go anywhere. It can go up, down, left, right, while the F-22's thrust vectoring system is up and down, and that's all it can do. It can go up and down. So, the SU-57 is more maneuverable than the F-22 because of that. And that's why I give it a very, very slight edge. Because the F-22, when it pulls back on the stick and yanks and banks, it can turn like a mofo. So, it's a very slight edge, and I'm doing that because I don't want to cop out and just say, well, it depends on the pilot, because nobody wants to hear that, all right? Okay, thanks for watching. And if you disagree with me and you think the F-22 would whoop the ever-living crap out of the Su-57 in a dogfight, stick it in the comments below. Just be civil about it. I mean, come on, you wouldn't say that to my face, would you? You wouldn't be, like, that harsh about it to my face. But why are you that harsh about it whenever you're hiding behind a computer in your little safe bubble zone? You know, say it to my face. I, I bet you you wouldn't. I mean, go check out my M14 gun run wherever I nail a body-sized target from 300 yards with iron sights. No, seriously, I did do that. It took me two shots.